Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Haystech ROM Review and I've got another review for you. This one here is for the Nexus 6. Um, just to let you guys know, my next few videos, a couple of them I have lined up are going to be for the OnePlus One. Uh, but I figured I could get this one out pretty quickly. Um, so I wanted to get this one out. This is another uh, request uh, review. Uh, this is YAOSP, or better known as Slim. Uh, it's built by Yank555. Um, and I've actually had this requested a couple of times, so I figured uh, I might as well go ahead and get it out now. I've tried to wait until uh, some more features were added, um, and I just think uh, Slim is going to be this. Uh, you, It is Slim for a reason. You don't get a lot of options with it, um, and I think that this is what we're going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and review this and get it out there, let you guys see. Um, it's, it's a very nice ROM if you like. Um, a, a stock ROM uh, and this is just a little over stock so this is this video is not going to take very long to get out so let's go ahead and get into this uh, we're going to get down to about phone uh, this way you can you guys can see this is Yank 555 um, it's open source project you know basically this is based off of Slim uh, it's got a lot of other uh, uh, pulls from other uh, sources too but uh, basically, it's slim. Um, one thing I noticed about it right off the bat is it doesn't come booted uh, at like uh, 460 or 480 DPI. Uh, it's actually come set at the 560, which is default, uh, which I do like that. Um, I don't like slim booting up at a real, real uh, high resolution where, where you can't read anything because everything's so small. Uh, so this is set up. Again, guys, uh, as stock, uh, you know, as far as DPI goes, uh, it is for the Nexus 6. It's Android 601. Um, it, it's got the August security patches in it. Uh, I am running Blackbird Kernel, guys. I'm not going to explain why. You guys know I love the features of Blackbird Kernel. That's the only reason I'm using it. Uh, again, I highly suggest you guys use the kernel that's supplied with the ROM. Um, that's usually the best kernel to go with. Uh, you guys can see the uh, build number down there. Um, build date, uh, this is just released. So, yeah, this was the uh, 9th. So, this was, you know, basically yesterday's uh, build. Uh, the first thing you're gonna, we're going to go to is the System UI Tuner. Uh, this is usually on by default. Uh, you don't have to do anything uh, to get to it. It's just there all the way at the bottom. This is going to be where you're going to go to uh, adjust your quick setting tiles, add, uh, delete any kind of tiles. Uh, that they have for the device. This is where you're going to go for that. You just basically click add. That's what I didn't put on it. Uh, and as you guys can see, that is what is um, what I did put on it. Um, a lot more uh, than I thought would be there, to be honest with you. Um, so kudos on uh, Yank555 for that. Uh, quite a few options there for the pull down. Um, number of tiles per row, you know, you have your quick pull down, right, left, none at all, you know. Uh, always uh, smart pull down if you guys use that feature that's there uh, brightness slider brightness control your status bar icons pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar uh, that's where you're going to do that at um, then you have your battery status this is going to be where you can change your battery I have mine off right now uh, just because I'm doing a, re uh, a video I don't you know want you guys watching the battery drain as I'm doing the video uh, let's see, only running task search bar, these are for your recents, of course, uh, your clear all, um, you can change your locations, which they do give you the six positions for that, uh, which that's pretty awesome there, uh, and then clear all tasks. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys, basically the rest of the settings are stock, um, I'll go through them quickly, but they are just stock. Uh, we'll hit display real quick, um. You guys can see uh, you set up your wallpaper, uh, lock screen wallpaper, stuff like that. Um, adapt to brightness, uh, your sleep timer, you know, how, how long you want your screen to stay on. Uh, power button twice for camera. Then you have your daydream. Uh, then your tap to wake, uh, tap status bar to sleep, uh, tap nav bar to sleep. Uh, that's their LCD density. And of course, guys, it came this way. I did not set it like that. Normally, it comes like 460 or 480. Uh, when you're running slim and I like the fact that it comes 560 uh, then you can change your font style uh, that's then you have your cast uh, expanded desktop 
Uh, here you have here's your wake options if you guys use wake options and of course ambient displays at the bottom if you turn that on these are your advanced doze uh, options so I mean there's a lot more than just you know uh, basic stock um, but again guys uh, this slim was meant to be uh, slim it's slimmed down with some really cool features and that's pretty much what this has uh, most of the features you're gonna find are right in the drop down so that's where most of your features are going to go where you're going to need them or where you're going to go to, to uh, turn them on at uh, sound and notifications are up next uh, you do have your volume uh, controls uh, your you know set your ringtones uh, your rocker switches stuff like that you know for your volume rockers um, you know vibration control uh, like I said you guys can set up your ringtones you know what you want on them uh, you do have your volume steps under uh, other sounds. These are what they give you for those options as well. Again, guys, I have a lot of them turned off just because I'm doing a video. I don't want any inadvertent, you know, crap coming over and blowing you guys' eardrums out. Uh, and with that being said, I do want to drop that down to that. <laughs> I should have done that earlier. Um... And that's pretty much it. Uh, you have your Do Not Disturb, uh, you know, and your notification access all the way at the bottom. Uh, next up is going to be, I'm not going to hit all of these because, again, I mean, they are just stock setting. Um, under security, of course, you have Privacy Guard. Uh, privacy Guard is just standard Privacy Guard. You know, you can go in and pick and choose, uh, you know, your permissions, stuff like that with each uh, app that you have on. Um you know, encrypt your phone if you want. Um, you know, power menu. This is going to be where you set up your power menu. Uh, basically, to set that up, um, all you got to do is hit the add button and pick something you want to add. Screenshots. Um, uh, see, this is one thing I didn't add. I didn't set up yet. Uh, let's go put users down there. Oh, and that's the maximum reach. Okay, so let's get rid of users. All you got to do is slide it to the right. And let's set up uh, torch. All right, and there you, there you have, that's all you got to do. Uh, now, if you want to change its position, just grab it, pull it. That's how you change its position in the, um, in the drop down. I'm going to go ahead and put power at the very first. And that's it, guys. That's how you add features to your uh, power menu. Uh, then, of course, you have your reboot options. Uh, these are going to be if you even want to have a, uh, uh, you know, a reboot option. Uh, this is where you go for that. Make sure you guys have that turned on always if you want to be able to boot into recovery, okay? Um, device administrators, uh, if you're using the, uh, um, the current um, Google apps, it's going to come uh, uh, you know, unchecked. Uh, not like in the old days where it was always checked. If you guys didn't want to use it, you had to go in there and uncheck it. Uh, there's your unknown sources. Make sure you guys have that turned on. Um, trusted credentials, stuff like that. Screen pinning all the way at the bottom. Uh, and that will take care of security. And I think about the only thing I also want to hit are the developer options. Um, of course, they don't have advanced reboot. I showed you guys where that's at. Uh, they do have the root access. Um, uh, I always choose apps and ADB. You guys can choose whatever you want. Uh, you, you can pick whether or not you want to uh, uh, super sue status to show in your status bar or the icon to show in your status bar just by clicking that there. Uh, make sure you do have your USB bugging, uh, debugging turned on. I can't remember whether that's on by default or not. Um, and then, you know, just your standard uh, stuff. Now, if we go down into drawing, they do have the multi-window mode uh, underneath the drawing. And I think there's another one down here that is a little different. I wanted to show you all the way at the all the way at the end. And no, I'm wrong. Well, guys, that is about it uh, for YAOSP. Um, again, uh, I've been running it since yesterday. Solid. I I do run multi ROM, so I have the option of switching back and forth between ROMs. Uh, and I've left this on. I wanted to run it. And I wanted to see how. I, I I just wanted to see how it worked, how it ran, how fluid it was. Um, and it's, it's, it's a really, uh, stable ROM. I mean, if you guys are looking for a daily driver and you're not looking for a lot of, uh, custom features, um, this is it. I mean, I've, I've, uh, watched YouTube videos, uh, done stuff like that. 
Uh, I've had no issues with uh, video playback, um, no audio issues. Uh, I haven't had any random reboots. Uh, scrolling is it seems to be very fluid. Um, no, no major issues at all. So uh, you know, it's definitely something worth um, looking into. Now the launcher I'm running, uh, this is the Nexus launcher. Uh, it is the latest update of Nexus launcher. Um, it's basically Google Now launcher, but uh, you know uh, the end preview. Um, and you guys can get that uh, just by going to uh, uh, downloading the uh, TBO uh, GAPS package or the TBO app. Um, and what that will let you do, yeah, I know. Oh, draw. I'm not going to get into this. Anyways, guys, because um, I haven't set that up yet. Uh, basically, all you have to do is uh, get the TBO manager, open it up, and download. Uh, it's, called, um, it's called Nexus Launcher. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, you can get it in clear, you can get it in black, um, or you could probably just go online and just do a search for it and download and run it that way, but it's pretty cool. It's basically Google Now Launcher, uh, but it's set up kind of cool, um, you know, those, there's your app drawer. If you press and hold, um, this is going to give you your, uh, settings, you know, here are your settings for it, uh, you know, so I just figured I'd let you guys see that as well. Uh, I like the way it looks to begin with, um, you know. Anyways, uh, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, this uh, again, this is a request video. This is why AOSP for uh, the Nexus Six. Um, remember, guys, uh, my next couple videos that I'm going to be putting out, I'm going to try to get them out for the One Plus One. Um, I'm gonna, I was going to put another video out of Broken, but I just put one out of Broken, so I'm not going to do that. I actually have a surprise video I'm going to put out as a brand new ROM out in the market. Um, I'm going to try to get that out tomorrow morning if I can. Um, so, again, thank you to all my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.